Most people have heard that every snowflake is unique. But what about real estate? Is real property interchangeable, or is each tract of land different? We explore those questions in Oliver vs. Ball. Jerome Oliver contracted to purchase two tracts of land in Butler County, Pennsylvania, from Larry Ball. Ball failed to convey the land to Oliver. Accordingly, Oliver filed suit against Ball in Pennsylvania State Court for breach of contract. Oliver sought specific performance and monetary damages. The trial court severed Oliver's specific performance claim from his damages claim. His specific performance claim was tried in a non-jury trial. After hearing testimony on the liability phase, the court concluded that the parties had entered into a valid sales agreement and that Ball had breached that agreement. At the damages phase, Oliver testified as to his interest in the land. He explained that he was buying it for investment purposes. It contained some timber that he planned to harvest. The property also came with mineral rights. Moreover, Oliver explained that the land was just a few miles from his house. It was important to him to keep his investments relatively close to home. Ball moved for a non-suit after Oliver testified. The trial court granted that motion and denied Oliver's request for specific performance. Per the trial court, Oliver hadn't established that he lacked an adequate remedy at law. The trial court denied Oliver's motion to remove the non-suit. Oliver then appealed to the Pennsylvania Superior Court.